Good day to everybody. My name is Maya Bohac. I work inside the eye clinic Seattle's chain in Croatia, mainly in Zagreb. I'm a head of refractive surgery department covering majority of the countries uh, from ex-Yugoslavia. So basically I work in Croatia, Bosnia and Herzegovina, Macedonia, Montenegro and some parts in Serbia. Atos femtosecond laser is a new, very interesting device which is making all of us exciting, excited about the new step in refractive surgery. So basically it's not going to be just another femtosecond laser that can perform what all other machines on the market can do. They made something innovative in it, so they put uh, pupil and iris recognition inside and um, enhanced and to some extent eased the way how we can incorporate lenticular extraction inside our refractive surgical practices. So the machine is at its beginning but it's already easy to work with and already with, with more than very good performances. So basically they need just a little few more steps to make excellent machines. So they are not starting from the ground zero they are not just competing with other already known and well-working devices. They are trying to incorporate something new, which is in 2021 already working very, very nice. Well, basically it was because we trusted and believed in Shin Company. I'm a lady doctor and um, I am somehow very conscious and very concerned and very caregiving about my patients. So for every patient, I think it's like my daughter, my sister, my brother or my parent. And I'm always trying to give my best. So every new device could be a pitfall. But working with the Schwind company for the last 11 years, and knowing all the people inside it and knowing all the brains inside it, somehow I believe that they don't give me bad device. Only the Schwinn company was actually my leading point. Okay, that's Schwinn. They have the best Exzheimer laser in the world. They are very meticulous. They answer their questions. They are always there to help. So I'm really excited to see what's going to happen with the platform and with the refractive market in the next three to five years. At this point of time, we have we used Atos machine for the past six months. We made around 250 flaps and around 18, 80 lenticular extraction. At this point of time, results are great and comparable with the machines we already have or use. The first clinical data on three months post-op are already inside the Excel tables and waiting for the peer review. So hopefully in a few months time, it will be available for international uh, audience to read it and decide for themselves, is it good or is it bad or is it equal to all others. And the one nice thing about Shrink Company was that we don't the first idea of them and all of us was not to make the machine nicer or uh, more compatible or more compatible than it is, but we were recording only the truth. All good, bad and ugly and of course excellent and great and exciting during our first experiences with Atos. My name is Ivan Gabric and uh, I am a doctor here at the i20 Sietlost in Zagreb. Here, this device, <laughs> it's, uh, it's insane. On IFS, when you start docking, you're, you're, you, know, you, you have to look down, you're looking at the little thing and then you're trying to eyeball the center of the pupil, there's no reference point, then you fix it, then you're not sure if you're there, you're here. Here, on this little screen, you literally see a green crosshair, a yellow crosshair, make sure they align, like in a game. So for me, a novice surgeon, a device like this, I mean, I could teach anyone how to use it. And that's the amazing part about it. 
So yes, I I'm a doctor, but I'm also a, a, a geek. When I found out that Atlas was coming to our office, I was thinking to myself, how can they make the docking process better? Because from my point of view, the IFS docking process was pretty good. You need some experience, but it's okay. Once you put the patient here the first time, you see that little green cross and you start aligning, it's a eureka moment. It is just so much easier to achieve a perfect centrated flap or lenticule than any other platform on the market. It is a game changer for me. The other thing is for a highly technical person like me, being able to adjust every single parameter about how the laser works. You can adjust how much vacuum you want. You want 250, you want 320, you want 450, it doesn't matter, you can change it. You want the flap size change, you can change it. You want the edge uh, angle change, you can change it. You want the hinge edge, you can literally change the spot and track diameter and per pulse energy to adjust the laser to what you feel makes you happy. And that is a big difference. Most of the devices in medical field are a black box. You as the surgeon, you get a pedal, you push the pedal, the device does its thing, and then you do your part. Atos is a device for geeks, for tinkers, for people who want to make small incremental changes and achieve the perfect mix of what they like and what the end result for their patient is. It's very similar to the level of uh, customization you can do in Amaris, but it's on a whole other level versus every other femtolaser. So what we decided as, a, as owners is that Zagreb is the playground. We can try new things here. Once we have standardized these procedures, then we can send them off to other centers because we were a high volume center even back then. So you couldn't really try new things without disrupting your cash flow and business. Femto lasers, it's a lot different. Femto lasers are, they're not as essential as an eczema laser. If you have an eczema, you can do PRK, you can do microcarium. We are very, very, very efficient. We can do about 30 to 45 people in a surgical day without a hiccup. On average, our surgeons take between 12 and 17 minutes to finish two eyes with femtolacid. So we schedule about three patients an hour. It, we trusted that Schwinn would not deliver a medically inferior product. What we needed to know is how will that product affect our workflow in time and patient flow. When you have three patients scheduled every hour, you need to make sure that you are being able to push them out from the room because if you are slow, you will have a buildup of unhappy patients waiting for refractive surgery in your waiting room and then you will feel pressure, then you will start to go faster and then you will make a mistake. So at first, we scheduled two patients an hour, just this little room, just one surgeon. And as our confidence grew, we now don't schedule Atos patients any different than we do for IFS patients. And we've had the IFS for five or six, seven years now, actually. So it's, it was very easy to integrate the device. And although this is device number three on the planet, it's uh, actually pretty polished. There are some rough edges that need to be ironed out, but for a device in active development, this is, uh, this is as near as uh, done as it can be. I think the main factor is that each one of us can adapt the laser settings to fit their surgical skill and level of competence. The flap can be easy to lift as basically with a microcarinum, or it can be as sticky as dissecting, you know, with something. So it's it's very variable. You can you can play around and you can find what works for you. The first clinical results are actually very good. Most patients have achieved their best uh, corrected visual acuity uh, without after surgery with no correction. The amount of uh, higher order aberrations we're inducing is extremely low. And in general, for a, a, an early phase of this device being used in the market, those are very, very good. I, I hope that they will be published soon so we can share this in a peer-reviewed journal with the general ophthalmology public. When uh, we moved from this laser sight system to 
wave light uh, that's now 13 years ago 14 years ago actually it was a big wow for us the the, the wave light platform was a lot better more more friendly better results everything was great when we moved from wave light to schwinn de maris it was very hard for us, the doctors performing surgery, to explain to older doctors not performing the surgery, what's the real difference? Because in their minds, you know, the wave light patients, they were very happy. They were good. For 95% of the patients, they're good. But the level of customization that you can achieve as a surgeon with the Amaris as a platform, the, the integration of the diagnostic suite, the planning suite, the surgical suite, the outcome tracking that you have with that, is just on another level. No one is near it. The quality of, uh, of astigmatic correction, again, a lot better with Amaris because it's such a finely tuned system. The, the, you don't have nomograms with Amaris. You just type what you need. Now, again, those are quality of life improvements for a small number of patients, but for a huge number of doctors. And Schwind as a company is not marketing to patients. They're marketing to doctors. They're telling us, look how better your life is going to be with our devices. And this is, this is where they achieve excellence. They know how to sell doctors the technology. The other thing is, when we bought our Amaris, the first one 10 years ago, it was on software version 3, I think. By the time we got a new one and it's software version 6, it's not the same laser, it's the same box, it's the same components, but the level of software improvements is just amazing. And they're a small company, so you know you can, you can pick up the phone, you can call them, they'll answer every single time, they'll tell you how things work, they'll tell you why they work like they work, and if you have a comment saying something's not right, they will acknowledge the comment, they will address it, and they will fix it. Because they're small, they're very mobile, and very quick. Uh, at the end of this little talk about Schwinn, I, I would like to say a few words. Number one, I'm a very young surgeon, but I'm a highly technical guy. I might not be the most experienced surgeon on the planet, but I've tried a few different technologies. Atos is a device made for our generation, okay? It's made for us thinkers, for the iPhone generation, for touchscreen people, and for people who want to make it personalized. It will allow you to achieve things you didn't even know femtolasers can do. And on the other hand, it's going to reward you with great results and years and years of future improvements to make it the axis of your refractive business. Trying it now and getting on this train today for us has been amazing because we honestly believe that for Schwinn, who now have over 1,000 Amaris systems around the planet, this device is going to become the de facto standard at some point. Knowing that we were here when it was still being developed and we were one of the first users makes me just very happy knowing that the work we do here is influencing thousands of surgeons in the future with their use of this amazing device.